Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are super well and staying safe as you can see from the title of the video and the thumbnail. Yes, I am bleaching my hair. What am I doing right now? I mean, I'm hoping it's gonna go well. Thought I would document it for you guys to see. But yeah, I am not a professional. I have not bleached my own roots in about five years. I'm confident doing it because I've done it before. Um, yeah, I've spoken to a couple of friends in the industry and they've given me some tips. I've watched some YouTube videos and I've bought some great products. So, fingers crossed it goes okay. Um, a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. But as you can see, I've got, I've got about four months worth of root growth. I've got a lot of grey hairs coming through. Yeah, I mean... I do love this look, don't get me wrong, I love it. I loved it when I did the shadow root in my last hair dye video. I will pop a link below if you've not seen it. But I just would love a freshly bleached blonde look and I'm, I can't wait another few weeks for the salons to reopen because one, are they gonna reopen? Who the hell knows? And two, if they reopen, are they gonna stay open for good? We just don't know. So I thought, do you know what, it's probably time I bleach my roots myself because it's something that I can do at home. I don't have to go to London. I don't have to go to another salon. I don't, yeah. You know, when I go to a salon, I'm there all day. It's taking a whole day out of my routine. Um, I can't film, I can't work. So yeah, even though it is really, really nice to pamper myself and it's so nice sitting in a salon chair, having a cup of tea, having a cup of coffee, reading a magazine, doing some emails, like it is nice. Um, don't get me wrong, but it is expensive. And yeah, anyway, I can't be asked to wait for the salons to reopen. I touch wood, hope this goes okay. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. I'm cool with that. But yeah, thought I would document the process though. So let's bleach my roots. Also guys, I am gonna be attempting to remove the leftover kind of greeny blue in my hair as well. I actually had one of my followers message me about a color remover um, on Instagram. Unfortunately, it has got ammonia in it, but it's got a bond reinforcing kind of formula. So I'm gonna give it a go and I've got Olaplex as well. And yeah, anyway, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using. Let's start with the bleach. I have got the Blonde Me Bond Enforcing Premium Lightener 9 Plus Dust Free Powder from Schwarzkopf. <laughs> Can never pronounce that word. And I've got the 6% 20 volume developer I didn't want to get a developer that was too high so I went low and I've also got Olaplex number one that I'm going to be adding in to this as well and I'm also going to show you the other products I'm going to use later on in the video I've got a toner and I've also got the color remover I'm actually repping the whole Schwarzkopf range because I've got their color remover which again is bond enforcing I've also got the blonde toning Bond Enforcing Blonde Me Toner. I've got shade Ice for that. I've also got the Vibrance 1.9% 6 Volume Activator Lotion that you put with the um, toner. So that goes together. And I've also got the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me Tone Enhancing Bonding Mask, which I need to figure out what I do with this, but I believe, I think you follow it up after the toner or you can mix it with the toner don't know can't remember but i will have to google i've done all my research and i'm gonna need to get robin to help me with the back of my hair so i'm just gonna tell you so when you do your hair if you've got roots like me that are proper proper long then you can't apply the bleach straight away from your root you need to do this kind of mid band here first all over then go back in and do your scalp so that is what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna take me a while, and yeah, I'm gonna need Robin's help for this, but I'm gonna probably put this video to music. I will speak in between little sections to offer some tips and just chat to you. But yeah, this is probably gonna be a very long process. Here it goes. Hopefully we're gonna get bleached hair. So I have mixed up my powder with the developer. I've done a ratio of one to 1.5 like it recommends, and it's nice and creamy. And then I'm gonna add 
in some Olaplex number one and it says online that for every um, 1.5 ounce of cream bleach you add 7.5 milliliters of the bond number one and it actually comes with this little measurer so I'm just going to add some of that in. Right, I've added in the Olaplex and so I'm going to stir it in now and then I'm going to section my hair. Right, so I'm going to section my hair into two halves and then I'm going to section it again so it's in four. I saw someone do this on YouTube and it actually looked like a really good way of sectioning your hair and also it's better to start with the underneath of your hair at the back. Right, so I'm going to section it from the crown going sideways like this and I'll do that exactly the same on the other side. So we have two sections this side and I'll have two this side. Right, my hair is all sectioned. I'm gonna pop some gloves on and I am ready to go. And I'm gonna be starting with that mid band all over and then going in with the scalp. We are going in and oh my God, I'm scared. I'm scared. Do I carry on? Yeah. Right, well, here goes. I'm going to try and not overlap it too much, but I am going to be using a very, very, very light bleach. It's basically bleach, the bond enforcing colour remover on the green, so it should get out any of these extra little bits that are a bit dark. Where I used the shadow root beforehand, um, where it's darkened a little bit of the bleach. But yeah, we're going in. I'm nervous. Yeah, I don't wanna slow down. I don't wanna slow down. I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast. I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard. Yeah, it can be hard. Yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People feel you with. You start thinking about what you're gonna do now But we Only got one chance and got one life to live And it's do or die, gotta make it count So lose your worries, let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out So that is the first section done I've actually got a mirror behind me and in front of me So I can kind of see what I'm doing So I've managed to do it without Robin's help um, I'm just gonna do the other back section off camera and then I will come back and do the front bits. Okay, the back is done. Just gonna clip each side away. Right, let's do the front. So I'm gonna do this side first and I'm gonna start at the back and kind of go diagonally across with this. Right, let's go. side is done gonna repeat this side but I'm gonna do it off camera and yeah then I will be back to do the scalp section both front bits are done now we're gonna go to the back and we are gonna go in right on the root and as you can see already 
it is starting to take so this is great i've actually missed a little section here bit awkward let's redo that i'll pin that up to that bit okay now we can go in on the scalp side scalp is done gonna do the other side off camera and then i will do one of the front bits on camera um yeah oh this is long back is done let's do the front Right guys, the bleach is on. It's looking good, actually. Don't know what the back looks like. Let's have a little... Okay. That is looking great. Right, I'm gonna leave it on until the front develops and then rinse it out and we'll get on to removing the colour on the ends and toning. Right guys, it's looking okay. I mean, it's definitely gonna need a toner but I'm ready to rinse. I'm back and my hair is so brassy. Oh my God. Okay, so, oh, it's really itchy behind my ears. I've rinsed off all of the bleach and I mean, it's taken, not very well, but it looks pretty consistent all over my hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the color remover on the green and I might blend it up into these bits just to lift it a tiny tiny little bit more um, the activator lotion that I'm going to be using for the color remover this is the one I'm going to use the color remover um, I think I might have said I use this as a toner I was wrong I use a light 2% um, uh, develop part with the toner. I use this activator with the colour remover. So I've got part A and part B here. So I'm gonna pop this on and yeah, let's see if we can get rid of some of this green. First of all, I need to blow dry my hair because I need dry hair for this. Do you know what? Now it's dry, it doesn't actually look too bad. So hopefully the toner will do the trick, but yeah, let's try and get rid of some of this leftover bluey green. Please excuse if my eyes are red. I've got my contact lenses in because it's the only way I can see the mirror behind me and my hair and um, I feel like I've got something in them. But I've just mixed up part A, part B and 60 millilitres of the develop art which is this one right here the vibrance igora activator lotion and i'm gonna pop that on my dry hair starting from the bottom and working my way up to the top i'm gonna try and maybe like miss this section because obviously that's where i've overlapped my bleach and i might also put a little bit on my roots just to see if that lifts up that color just a little bit more
guys, the colour remover is on and I'm going to leave it on for 20 minutes and rinse it out. To be honest with you, I don't actually think it's going to do anything, weirdly. Because it's still super green. Yeah, I don't have high hopes, but we shall see. I will be back soon once I've rinsed it out. Okay, guys, so I've rinsed out the colour remover. It's definitely lifted that bluey green tint a little bit. It's not completely got rid of it, but it's not too bad. It looks okay. It's a little bit darker at the back, but I reckon when my hair is dry, it will look a little bit fainter. Um, but whilst my hair is wet, I'm going to apply the toner after that. Uh, colour remover, I have to say my hair doesn't feel great. It actually felt okay after the bleach and it looked okay But yeah after the colour remover Not gonna lie my hair does not feel good. So I'm gonna have to do a mask, but actually I've got the Bonding mask, which is this one here the en tone enhancing bonding mask for cool blondes I'm actually gonna put this in with the toner. So it says you can do a one to one to two ratio so one of this one of the toner and two of the two percent developer and i'm going to pop that on my roots and hopefully it will tone it uh, we shall see so i've just popped in the toner which is 60 milliliters i've popped in 60 milliliters of the mask and then 120 of the 2% developer. I'm just mixing this up now. It smells quite nice actually. And I'm literally just going to apply that on my brassy roots. And it's gonna be on damp hair. So I'm just gonna section my hair again. And I'm gonna actually start from here because this is the most brassiest section. And I'll probably do the front two sections and then work my way down the back. Okay, I'm going to leave it on for 20 minutes, rinse it out, and then uh, I'm going to go to bed because it's like midnight, um, but I'm going to get up tomorrow, I will wash my hair tonight, I'm going to put a mask on it, I am going to do my makeup tomorrow and show the finished look, and I really hope to God it looks okay. Wish me luck. So guys, I am not here with my finished hair because the roots. So after I toned my hair, I actually toned it a second time using the exact same toner. I really thought that I would be able to tone the yellowy orangey brassiness out of my hair. However, my hair just hasn't been lifted enough from the bleach. So that is why I'm kind of been left with this. As you can see, I've got a quite a distinctive line where the lift is probably about a seven or eight. And then obviously the lift on the end of my hair is a 10. It is like bright white. Um, yeah, super annoying, but it means I'm gonna have to go back in with some bleach. So I basically, I just wanna, yeah, I didn't really document me doing the toner. So I did the toner twice and then it was still yellowy. So I used a purple shampoo. It was still yellowy and a bit kind of orangey. So I looked at my color wheel and it said to use a blue toner. So I made my own toner with some blue hair dye and conditioner. I popped that on and I managed to achieve this shade of root, which to be fair is actually a really nice blonde. 
but I'm trying to match this. So yeah, I mean, in an ideal world, I would just leave my hair with this kind of ashy blonde. It actually looks really, really nice. But yeah, I kind of want to match this because next week, the week after, I will be doing an all over color. And obviously, if I use a semi-permanent color on this, it's gonna still show this kind of root. Um, and obviously, if I don't sort it out now, I'm gonna just get banding all the way down when it grows out. So, I have spoken to a couple of my followers on Instagram. I've spoken to my old hairdresser. And it's, this is actually a few days after filming. So, yeah, make sure you leave your hair a few days. Don't bleach it straight away afterwards. I've done an Olaplex treatment this morning before I'm about to bleach my hair again. I'm actually going to only use a seven volume bleach this time. I'm going to do it low and slow. I'm going to put Olaplex in it again. So I'm really looking after my hair whilst I'm doing this. I've got the Bond Enforcing Blonde Me um, lightning powder from Schwarzkopf again. So yeah, I'm it, 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 all the bonding kind of products to look after my hair. And I'm going to try to avoid this area here because I do not want to overlap that. Okay, so we're back at it again. Yeah, I think my first time dyeing it, I think my hair's just so dark. Um, I did use a low bleach, but to be honest with you, it's better to use a low bleach and leave it on your hair a little bit longer. Um, slow, I know a lot of the hair, I know a lot of hairdressers in the industry like the um, low and slow method, and I do think that causes, you know, less damage. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go low and slow again. And I'm gonna check it every half an hour. So yeah, I'm gonna get it on. Um, I'm probably not gonna film this bit because yeah, I need to concentrate, but I'm gonna get it on my hair and then I'll be back to show you guys it on my hair. And yeah, hopefully this will be the last bit of getting my roots white. Right guys, the second round of bleach is on. It's looking good. Um, I've got a little bit left over so I'm just going to wait about half an hour, check it, see if it needs topping up and um, yeah, just really keep an eye on it because I don't want to leave it on for too long but obviously, you know, I have used a low developer so it might take a little while for it to lighten it but yeah, hopefully fingers crossed this does the trick and yeah, then I reckon I probably will need to tone it as well afterwards. So guys, it's been on for about 30 minutes now, but it's drying out and I've got a little bit of bleach left over. So I'm just touching some little bits up and then I'll probably leave it for another 15 minutes and check. I'm back, I've rinsed out the bleach and I've done my number two Olaplex. I mean, my scalp is grey, it's still this mid-band area, but I'm going to tone, I actually don't have any toner, um, I did order a new toner, but I'm going to put off using that just for a second, I just want to see if I can just use some really strong purple shampoo that I've got from Osmo, to see whether, if I leave that on my hair, whether it will tone it, um, it doesn't look too bad, but I mean, there is still a big difference. But yeah, I just feel like maybe if I just tone it, because the ends are a bit more of like a whitey, greeny tone. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do purple shampoo first and see how we go. Right, silver shampoo applied. Gonna leave it for like five minutes, I think, because, well, this looks really intense and I don't want my hair to go purple. Um, but yeah. It looks good, but I feel like my hair's already gone purple, so maybe I'll wash it out right now. So guys, I've actually got a different toner on my hair now. The silver shampoo sort of worked, but it still left a few kind of little bits of brassy yellow, and you could still kind of see a bit of a divide from my roots to my ends. So I've got a new toner on. I've used the Steel Blue Toner from Schwarzkopf, the Blonde Me Bond Enforcing Toner. And it looks quite good actually. So I'm kind of hopeful that this is the final push and the end of me bleaching my roots. 
to be honest with you, this is as far as I'm going. I don't feel comfortable doing anything else to my hair. And to be honest, I am going to be using a semi-permanent colour on it afterwards anyway. Obviously not in this video. I will film another video of that because I'll probably do it in a couple of weeks time. Um, but yeah, this is as far as I'm pushing my hair and yeah, I will be back soon once I've washed the toner out. I'll put some makeup on, I'll style my hair and I'll show the finished look. Um, yeah, we, we, we are close. We are so close. Guys, I'm back and this is my finished hair. Oh my god. Did I just do this? I am so pleased that I managed to save my hair. There's a few little bits of brassiness still. We can still see like a little bit of a brassy line on my mid band. But, I have to say, overall, it's looking so much better. I'm in love with that still blue toner. It's made my hair go proper, like, grey. I love it. It's turned out, well, the best that I could, I could have done. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? It was a long ass process, I am not gonna lie. Like, that took a few days to do. Um, I mean, as a one-off, I'm gonna be honest, it's okay, you know, it's COVID. I wanted my roots done. Um, yeah, so, yeah, as a one-off, okay. I feel, I feel okay that I've done this. I mean, who knows, my hair might break off, but it feels okay, to be fair. I did another Olaplex treatment and yeah, it feels okay. Um, but in terms of maybe doing this again, I don't know if I can deal with the fact that it took a few days. I mean, to be honest with you, if I did this again, I wouldn't let my roots grow that long. It's the fact that they were just so long. That was the tricky part. Um, and also try not to overlap the bleach doing the mid band and then the scalp and like it's just so much to do by yourself especially when you've just got two mirrors you're doing it solo another thing as well is that you know i had to order products wait for them to deliver i definitely think i'm probably still gonna go to a hair salon to get my roots bleach in the future because they've got access to everything loads of toners loads of products like everything is there they're not gonna let me walk out the salon with with my hair you know, brassy or yellowy, like they're gonna fix that and get it clean. Whereas, you know, it's taken me a few days to achieve this. It's been, it's been long. It's been a long process, but I'm glad I've done it. And I'm really, really pleased with the outcome that I have managed to achieve at home by myself. Um, obviously I'm not a professional or anything. This is just talking to people, talking to my followers, talking to friends, other people that bleach their hair at home, research Google. I've managed to kind of do this and wing it. And it look, it looks good. I'm really pleased with it, um, but yeah, that's as far as I was happy to push it, so I'm glad that it's turned out okay. Um, the little bit of banding doesn't look too bad, it blends quite well. Um, yeah, so overall, I'd say a 9 out of 10 on this, um, which isn't too bad. What do you guys think? Please leave me your comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts, if any of you have got any, any tips for the future, if I do this again, to be honest with you. I doubt I'm going to do this again. It's just too long. It's actually really nice just to sit in a salon with a cup of coffee, your phone out, doing emails, rather than me actually spending like days and days doing this and then it, the toner not being right and need to, needing to order a new one. And it's been long. So yeah, definitely think I'm going to go to the salon in, a few, in the future. Um, obviously, this is COVID dependent, but I'm pretty pleased with the outcome that I have managed to achieve myself at home. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, any questions, I've linked all the products I use in the description box. Um, yeah, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Peace out.